So my buddy and I were using his crucible and pouring bronze and copper items and uh, popped in my head, oh, it'd be cool to try to make the a replica of the Otzi, the Iceman's 5,000 year old axe. And so that's what we're gonna do. It was just a quick idea and a quick replica. It's not exact, but thought it'd be fun to make one and test it out, see how it chops. <laughs> so here's how I do that. All right, so we're carving out our basic Otzi axe shape out of styrofoam. It's got the ridges where the handle fits on. I don't have to get it perfect because I'll be doing some grinding when we're done. There you go. Alright, All right. so there you have the basic shape of the head. I'll do a little refining when I'm done. It's got these ridges, the piece of wood slides on there like this. Then you lash it on with leather. Woo! Sharp. Look at how sharp that thing is. Woo! Now what I'm doing is, there. all you gotta do is just hold it directly there. All right. Cover Oatsy's axe. It'll be a rough finish with this sand, but it's a good test. All right, you can let go. I'll do a little refining. Yeah, yeah, that's the fun part anyways. All right. Sticks to the fucking bricks, man. Melt that styrofoam right out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Still there. Very crude. <laughs> Primitive. But that's probably how it came out when they did it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, so I got my basic form of my Oatsy axe. It probably looks like theirs did when they uh, poured it. <laughs> they probably scraped it on rocks for who knows how many days, but I'm gonna do, I got a grinder, so let's see how this goes. Coming along, you can see it's got these ridges. The uh, piece of wood and the handle comes in here like this. And with the leather wrapped around there, it'll hold it in place. And perhaps this uh, ax head was created in a slightly different environment, but we're getting the idea. Here it is, my quick replication of uh, Oatsy's axe head from 5,000 years ago. Uh, <clears throat> there you go. Let me connecting with our ancestors here <laughs> using modern tools. Took a lot less time. I hate hate to say, hate to admit. So I got this. 60 centimeter stick to act as the handle. Uh, it's Osage orange. I'm I'm not sure. It kind of looks like in the pictures that Oatsy 
might not have used a Y in the branches like this, but may have. See how on a lot of trees it comes down and it has the, the root. He might have found a small, a small, you know, a small sapling and cut it off at the root and you get that, it kind of has more of a burl on it where the main root comes off. I have a feeling you might have done that for simplicity's sake. I'm doing it this way. But Sharpened from one side for this kind of work. Peels things nicely. So there we got them. Axe going a little farther. Obviously, had it taken more time to find a stick, I would have liked to find one that was more of a 90 degree angle, but never one to let perfect get in the way of getting something done. I just grabbed what I did find, and we got a start on this. We can uh, soon and wrap this with with uh, leather and see what it was like to chop with the ax used by people 5,000 years ago. All right, so I'm just taking this piece of sheep's hide that we had and cutting it in a spiral to get my lashing to secure the uh, axe blade on. So there, I soaked the uh, soaked the sheep skin, the sheep hide, and wrapped it. So now, as that sheep hide dries, it'll cinch up that the blade, and we'll have a a rough quick replica of the Otzi axe. <laughs> All right, so the rawhide is dried up. Securing the blade nice and tight. So let's try this out. Timber. <laughs> <laughs> 